Hi guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing What is Obscenity by Riku Nashiko. Um, it's a Japanese word that means useless or good for nothing. It is the pen art name um, of Megumi Arashi. Um, those are going to be in the description below because I know I mispronounced them. Uh, this is a graphic memoir of this artist's life as she gets arrested on obscenity charges, and specifically for distributing obscene materials. Um, uh, so this is a look at how Japanese society views the vagina, and also like the prison system in Japan. It's a really interesting read, but it's definitely a more mature read. So. Um, Fair warning on that, and this review will include the word vagina a lot. <laughs> so this artist in Japan looked around her and saw this kind of double standard, where the penis, the male genitalia, is venerated and it's everywhere and they have these festivals honoring the penis, and they're giant penises, and it's out there in the open and everyone can see it. Um, but the vagina, the female genitalia, is supposed to be hidden, it's not supposed to be talked about. The word for it is banned. She's told from young child not to even use that word. Um, and she's like, I don't understand why. And as she grows up and becomes an adult, she like gets self-conscious about her vagina. She doesn't know what it's supposed to look like. She feels like she's gotta be abnormal. And so um, she tries to push like acceptance of the vagina out into society by making art out of it. Um, so this pink character on the cover is like this mascot she created that's shaped like a vagina, which I think is really cute and adorable. Um, and it's like a cartoon and character, so it's like safe and happy. Um, and it's, her art isn't meant to elicit like sexual arousal and stuff. It's just meant to like create awareness of the vagina and acceptance for it. What really got her into trouble when she, was when she tried to crowdfund the making of a kayak in the shape of a vagina, um, which is just supposed to be the silly thing that she did, except that she did it for, through a 3D printed scan. So she actually scanned her own vagina into a computer and created a file, which isn't bad on its own, except that she distributed it as the like reward for giving her money to make this kayak. If you funded it, then you got the file or download, a link to the download for this file, whatever. And so the Japanese police arrested her for the file that's being distributed, saying that that's obscene and it's meant to cause arousal. Um, and the whole thing seems really absurd from like an American standpoint. Um, but apparently in Japanese culture, this is completely like not okay. I don't know. It's weird. The funny thing is when she's talking to the police and she's trying to tell them it was crowdfunding, like they don't even know what it is. They like don't even know how to Google it. Like how can you charge somebody with something you don't understand? A lot of her art is also making <clears throat> dioramas like this where she takes a mold of her own vagina and then decorates it to make it fun. Um, which is kind of interesting and it's weird and <laughs> I don't know. This is definitely not art that I would be looking at otherwise. Uh, like I would not go out looking for this vagina art on my own. Um, but I don't see anything like crazy about it. Um, so this manga tells the story of why she decided to make vagina art and also why she got arrested and about the um, prison system in Japan and the criminal system and the obscenity laws. Um, so it's definitely a completely different world than what I'm used to here in the United States. Um, like just the things that happen while she's in prison, like holding her for a certain amount of time and the police flat out lying to her, um, trying to force her to sign a statement saying that she was told she could remain, she could remain silent and she's like, nobody told me that or she has to buy her soap and stuff from the prison. Definitely the obscenity stuff is what I was like drawn into about this um, and how the society views the penis so differently than the vagina. Like it's acceptable 
to talk about the penis and to like have festivals of fertility where the penis is these giant statues that are taller than humans that people can climb on and that's totally fine but if you just have art that's not even like an actual vagina then it's obscene it's so weird she also talks about the support she got from the online community from lawyers who some of the people are like hey i'm totally fine for like free the vagina and everything and then some of the people were backing her up just on the fact that it's crazy that she got arrested on otherwise even if they didn't agree with her art so the art in here is this combination of her like pencil drawings typical manga art um and then there are actual photographs of her work and other things happening in Japanese society. This book does a good job of breaking it down and giving cultural context to things that are happening also. Um, so apparently the manga originally ran in Japan and then this book with the added commentaries was published later, um, which is cool. Um, it does a really good job of explaining everything and breaking it down and showing like the bigger picture about this. The artist's main complaint in this, the artist's main point in this is that the vagina is part of a woman's body. Like any cisgendered female is born with a vagina. So nearly half the population has it. So why is it, why are we not allowed to talk about it? Why is the image of it so uh, obscene? Why can't we see it? Um, especially when you can, it's not parallel to the penis. Um, like society doesn't view the two the same at all. Um, so her body, like her main claim is that how can the vagina be obscene if my, it's part of my body, my body is not obscene. Um, <laughs> the art's kind of weird, especially since she makes plaster molds of her own vagina where she does like. Um, you know, like plaster Paris molds, and <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this plastic one creeps me out less than like the dioramas where that plaster actually touched her. Uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> so this is definitely an interesting read, and There was a part of me that's like horrified that this actually happens, but then the other like half my brain is like, I have to laugh at this because otherwise I'm going to cry that this is something that's still going on in our world. And that is not that crazy. Like, even though it's happening in Japan, like, yeah, we still have our own problems here in the States about the way that we view um, the female body. So I definitely think this book is worth a read. Um, clearly I got a library. So yeah, this book definitely pushed me outside my comfort zone a bit. It made me question um, society and how we view female bodies and really the taboos about talking about female bodies and portraying them. Definitely worth a glance through. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still kind of, kind of not sure, like wrapping my head around this. Um, I think it's like five stars for the subject matter it covers, like the way it covers it is amazing, <laughs> but it's still kind of awkward to talk about it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so definitely if you get a chance to check out what is obscenity, um, yeah. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.